Hey guys, I was just listening to part of this channel, True Crime Exposed. I find him a little hard to hear. He talks very low and very slow, but he tells this thing about Don Wells, father of Summer Wells, little five or six year old little girl who went missing June 15th, 2021. And um, this guy says that Don was really quite mean. And he tells this story about how Don took Summer's little kitten and threw the kitten out the door to the dog for to the dogs to kill in front of Summer. And I don't know if this story is true, but listen to this and tell me if I heard this right or wrong. Up today, um, the, the the big interview with Jose Roma, and guess what? Don threw he threw listen. Summer's cat right in front of Summer took her cat, threw it out the door to the dogs, and the dogs all attacked it and tore it up in front of she Summer. Said, he says the dogs tore up a cat in front of Summer. Is that true? Forty hours? Did you hear that? Dawn killed her kitten, little Summer Wells. I have subbed to this guy. I subbed to all the crime channels, except for Glarer. Oh my God. Can you believe that? No, I don't Dawn believe did that. I can hardly believe Summer. I can hardly believe Threw her cat, her baby kitten, out the door to the dogs, and the dogs threw up her cat. How does this guy know this? How does he know this? I mean, I'm not saying he's wrong. I just wonder where he got this information from. You know, I'm using his uh, video right now, so I'm gonna like him and I think you should subscribe and, um, you know, do all the stuff, whatever I'll do the, if I use somebody's thing, I'm definitely gonna support, I wanna support them. Um, I like, I, in general, I like to sort support channels. I do not support channels who bash other people. Um, for no reason. I, I just cannot stand that. And also, I don't believe in telling other people they're not allowed to express their views. This is America. This is what we stand for. And this is what we fight for every single day. Every single day. Obviously, we have to with idiots that are constantly trying to take away our rights, which we will not allow. We object to having our rights taken away. We demand keeping our rights. Human rights. Which we That's do. the type of person Don is. So this guy thinks Don is the kind of guy who would throw his little daughter's cat out into the dogs in front of her. I think Don is probably this horrible asshole. I mean, I've heard I've, I've heard horrible stories, but he, Don somehow he manages to stay for the most part uh, out of jail. I think he's being I think he's being treated very. I think he's getting secret special treatment at that jail. Okay. Anyways. All right. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say that now because I just heard that. I was just listening to this. I was just got off the Jimmy just finished his his video. Um, now, I like her Sloan Bella. I think she's really good. Interesting woman. I think she was a stripper or a dancer and different things in her life. She's had a really interesting life and she's very funny and she's a really amazing psychic and she is completely awake and aware and she knows just what's going on in this fucked up world. This is the famous interview that, um, oh, this is a very important interview. Yeah. You should see the places that she would take her kids swimming. Just awful, awful places. Places that no one else would ever go. Out of context, private calls clipped up. Yeah, this is this was a good one. This was a good show. I haven't even finished listening to the whole thing, but um, it's really good. Uh, the second coming of Donald Trump, really? One day ago, huh? Why did why did um? I heard that um, Kim Gogan said he had passed away. So, the Donald Wells tapes, huh? 
I have not watched this. I just saw part of it. You know, this guy, Chris, Chris um, McDonough, has that kind of, uh, makes that whistly sound that Jimmy makes. That's, I find very appealing, this whistly sound I make. And um, it's, it's a nice sound when people talk with that, like, slight whistle. When their S's are, have a little tiny bit of a whistle, it's nice. Uh, so, yeah, I really am starting to think that storms rolling into Houston. Oh, hope Cobra Kai is going to be okay. I don't know if he lives in that area. I know he lives in Texas. Hope you're okay. Uh, Opioids, Inc. Yeah. Now, this looks good. This movie, uh, Frontline PBS movie about opioids and how what a big business it is. And I think this is going to be very important to find out what's going on and how they've been using o opioids, um, oil, and human blood are like the three top drugs. I mean, this is drugs, opioids. This is it right here, opioids. Opioids, to uh, we are the opioids to these um, draconian queens and manted queens. Hmm, there's a lot going on in the world. So, see how my my feed has totally changed. Where's Michael Jaco? I don't see him anymore. Where's all my old regular things? All I see are these true crime channels. I guess like it does adapt to what you tend to look at, you know, obviously. Um, oh, Manimal. He's good. I'm going to watch him now. I like Manimal. Now, Manimal, as opposed to um, Glarer, Manimal to me is a real man, a divine masculine man, or is, you know, on his way there. It's not like anybody's really truly fully divine masculine on this planet, but getting there, right? So some, I think Manimal is a decent good man. I think he's a real good guy. I think he me I think he's a big he's a big powerful ma macho big testosterone male, but like he's the good kind, you know? He's not just bashing people for the sh for the sake of bashing people. He's a, he, to me he's a real man, he's a real human. He's um he does good things. He he gets he, he gives he gets people to um share their talents. He has a lot of good gigs going on. I like him. I'm going to go check him out. Now, a lot of the mean girls are on his channel now, um, but what? That's okay. You know, I can still watch him, and I don't have to join the chat. I don't like upsetting people, but um, I like him. He's, um, you know, a Jimmy's my favorite, obviously, because Jimmy makes me laugh, and I'm desperate for the laugh laughter drug. That's my drug right now, besides my homegrown, you know, um, and you know, just whatever I do to make to bring up my my serotonin. I do a lot of different tricks. I do many little things, you know, I put cinnamon in everything. I, I put baking soda in everything, little stuff like that. Uh, I drink, I eat, I put lemon, I drink a lot of lemon, fresh lemon. Those little health things, those help bring your, your, I'm, I'm constantly fighting depression. I am constantly, you know, working on not falling into a deep depressive hole. Jimmy helps me with that. You guys help me hugely. Um, my channel helps me, the guys, people who stick with me, um, you know, um, just, it's, everything's changing, but I want to talk about that more, but anyway, I'll be back, I'm waiting for Jimmy to come back later, I got some stuff I gotta do, and then I'm gonna also have to catch up on some sleep, but I'm gonna watch Manimal, see what's going on, big kiss!